is a two-platform structure for oil drilling and production, mainly constructed by the Italo-Korean consortium between Saipem and Hyundai, about 70 miles offshore from Tripoli. The works commissioned by Arjip Name Libyan Branch, a 19% Arjip controlled company, began in September 1984 and were completed in March 1988. Then followed the inauguration ceremony and a first production run, early drilling production, was actually started even earlier than their actual completion, which was in any case timely. The project consists of two platforms, the DP4 or mother platform, equipped with two drilling rigs. Not far from it, the smaller DP3 or satellite platform with one drilling rig. Saipem's contribution to the project can be broken down into three definitely distinct stages. The first one, in which the drilling modules were designed. A second stage, in which all the topside facilities were constructed, installed and implemented. And a final third stage, which saw the execution of all drilling work and management of the plants themselves. The Buri project foresaw a logistics base on the island of Malta, 160 miles away. This significant distance caused a number of problems in support and supply operations. No standby occurred during the cold and the difficult weather conditions of the winter months. Blue sky, dark sea, a dramatic scenario that Saipem personnel faced working with a common effort to build these impressive structures. meters above sea level and 180 meters below. 
a novel Eiffel Tower in the Mediterranean Sea. The Castoro Otto Derek Lay vessel, with its 2,400 tonne crane capacity, performed all the module installations for both the DP-4 and the DP-3 platforms. Two floating hotels with a capacity of 620 and 160 berths supply daily comfort to the operative team, partly made up of international technicians. In 15 months, this staff spent about 1,200,000 hours directly working on the mother platform, 900,000, and on the satellite, 300,000. And no serious accidents or injuries occurred in the entire period thus enhancing Saipem's image of overall security. The total weight of the modules installed is 24,600 tonnes, a demanding task that has been carried out thanks to the experienced personnel on board, who in some cases had to face harsh seas and dramatic weather conditions.
The plant, which can be compared to the Magnus Field or other important platforms operating in the North Sea, features hundreds of kilometers of electric instrument and control cables and also features sophisticated metal alloys and it is able to operate at 180 meters depth. Its two structures, the DP4 or mother platform and the DP3 or satellite platform, achieve a daily production of 160,000 barrels. The project of the turnkey type recorded the effective cooperation between Saipem and Hyundai, whose work consisted mainly in the construction of the modules, and of these with a Libyan client who, at the end of the operations, requested Saipem personnel to stay on to assist in the production activities. The work schedules and materials management was reviewed by SIPEM, the main contractor in the consortium, by means of a computerized control system, the so-called project control system. Thanks to its features and to a powerful communication network, the head office in Milan was constantly updated on the situation on board the platform and was in turn able to supply advice and suggestions at any time these were required. The laying of three sea lines has completed the work phase carried out by the Castoro Otto. The first two connect the DP4 to the single point mooring system for a total length of about seven kilometers and an outside diameter of 16 inches. The third sea line of about 8 kilometers connects the DP3 platform to the DP4 and to minimize the fall of oil temperature consists of a double skinned thermally insulated pipeline with a diameter ranging from 12 to 16 inches as Nam Progetti patent, a new release that required an accurate laying technique. On board the Castoro Otto, a new computerized system was installed. This positioning system is capable of giving the exact position of the vessel and its anchors in real time.
a novel and important present, now thrusts its metal body into the Mediterranean skyline, witness to yet another step along the pathway of innovation.